Salutations, spooks, specters, and spirits, and welcome to Soma. Don't worry about the continue, I was just... I was just testing stuff out to see... Do I need to do anything? Uh... <clears throat> and one I think I need to turn on... Back. Is there... I think, uh... There's subtitles I need to turn on? Yeah, okay, subtitles are already on, so... I think everything else is fine, I just... I just need to speak up! So, we're gonna do a new game. Yes! I don't care about the old game. I was just testing stuff out. I didn't go very far. I was... Just a little bit of interactivity. Important introduction here, so I'm gonna keep quiet. Reality is that which, when you stop believing in it, it doesn't, it doesn't go away. Oh, okay, Dick. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that that's for later, for the scan. It's green. What's Ashley, green? I need to tell you something. Son, it's red to please me. don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Munch? Why is there never enough time? For what? For family! Ah. Ah. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, no. that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you alright? Yeah. No. Yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. He's not okay. I do like how that everything out of the room was out of focus there. That's how you move around. It's just basic, basic frictional games. That should have shattered. He's a complete mess. Complete mess. This is, place is a mess. Just terrible. I know. Oh, no, no, no. Let the shades come out. What is this? Oh, it's a switchblade. Hey Simon, it's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, Mr. Mean It. End of messages. I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? I don't know. Actually, I never really checked his computer. Figured it'd be probably the stuff. We got all this. I mean, that's terrible right there. That's too much stuff plugged into one. Where did I put the tracer fluid? Tracer here? Mapping mines. Uno dos tres cuatro. Oh, that UPC. So abused. Hey, people are trying to sleep. Can I plug this into the computer? Oh. No, oh, I can't change that. No. Oh. He likes to draw, apparently. Get well soon, love mom. Oh, mom sent a card. Come on, radioactive tracer fluid. Where are you? Cheers, love. Actually, you know what? Let's open up the blinds. He's Summer's up. coming. Hope it's a good one. Wait, summer? I thought it was winter. Huh, weird. Oh, Pretty lady. Pay Slab St. Mary Toronto. I don't know why I thought it was winter. Memos. Oh yeah, one very important thing. Dude. Do. Don't ever do that. Keep the shower curtain open. It's very important. And toilet seat down. 
He's got all this trash, too. He's got all this trash. None of it's in the, tra in the trash can. Lights are off. Okay, we can close the bathroom door. Let's do the email. I never really read this. David Munchi, No Graph Session, 30 April 2015. Thank you again for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at the Pace Laboratories in Toronto, in Canada. But since we are guests, our access is a bit unpredictable. I will try to schedule a scan session for Saturday. I'll get back to you when it's confirmed. David Munchi. New prescription. Dear Mr. Jarrett, I'm happy to hear your headaches have become less frequent. Your latest stress... Your latest test show your brain is slowly recovering, but it's still too early to tell how well it will adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months at least, and you will need... To what was that? Not the dog bark, I thought I heard like, pow, pow. The bleeding will continue over the coming months at least, and you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. Okay, that's an alarm. That's, a, that's like an amulet. Since excessive stress can be, could be fatal, I have written you a prescription for Prazo Prazosin to help you with your nightmares. Please read the instructions and medicate accordingly, and try to get a lot of rest. I will see you next week. Saturday off. Oh. Oh, I forgot to hit send. Oh. <clears> Hi, <throat> Jesse, since you probably forgot, here's me reminding you that I've got the doctor's appointment tomorrow. I, I'm not coming into work. He didn't. Um, what's XZ? This means you need to make sure that you're actually on time to open the store, and please unpack the boxes behind the counter. They are starting to become a workplace hazard. Also, books tend to sell much better if they're on the shelves where people are actually able to see them. Good luck, you'll need it. Are you sure you want to send yes? Better late than never. <laughs> Can I do anything else? Okay, apparently not. Right, watching TV gives me headaches now. Thank you, brain. What are we going to watch? Massive recoil! John Hu is a corrupt cop working in Hong Kong. One day his life is turned upside down. One day his life is turned upside down as he meets Amber, a mysterious foreigner who is keep who is kept prisoner by the Golden Dragon. Stop that DVD player. Get ready to go rogue for it's time to go against the triad, the police and the supernatural forces of the underground. Get ready for massive recoil. Look, stop that. Plug it or something. Uh, what was this? Oh, no, just nothing in particular. I think he's. Where's Teresa? Yesterday, a driver distracted by her children ran a red light, cause causing her to be blind. Yeah, causing her to yeah yeah causing her, causing her to blindside a car in the intersection of Bloor Street and Spadina Road. The mother and her children, traveling in a robust SUV were left bruised but larger than harmed. The other party was less lucky. As the car crashed into the passenger side, Ashley Hall, 23, sustained devastating damages and suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs before the ambulance arrived. 